Hi everyone, welcome. This is Stardust LV and today I'm gonna share with you a comparison between two Chanel card holders that I'm using um, all the time. So let's open the first one. The first one is this card holder which is a 27 series and it comes with this one. And then it cost four twenty-five US dollars. And then the other one is this pretty card holder, which is a twenty-five series. And then it looks like this with the SQ number. And then this one retail for four seventy five US dollars. So I got both in caviar leather, and I've got this last year, while the other one I got this just a month ago, and it looks like this together. So as you've noticed. The caviar leather is different from one another. Like this one is more shiny and but a little lighter than this card holder. This one is darker but has like a matte finish. So I got both in gold hardware. And in front it looks like this. It's the same. It's kind of the same size, but the other one is thicker. So I love that both has no glazing on the side. Like they st stitch it together at the sides, which is nice because I think it's more durable this way. And this one opens up into this and then it has two compartments so a small one and a bigger one and it has linen lining and this one is made in this one is made Italy while this one is made in Spain and then here's the Chanel logo and then the the authentication number while the other one is in here so comparing both this one fits a lot but this one is easier to grab your cards with so I find this more accessible whenever I have this in my purse as it's very easy for you to just grab the cards so I used to have a full-size wallet but since I'm into small crossbody purses right now I size down and have been enjoying these small wallets so let's put what fits inside and as you can see I've had this I have had this since last year and been using it a lot and it's still I cannot see any wear on it. It's still in amazing, amazing condition. Except for this one, which, yeah, it, it cannot even, can't even tell the folds unless you'll just really open it like that. So let's try to put stuff inside and see how many cards can, can fit in here. So I have one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine cards so we'll put it inside so it fits nine cards and then i have bills here three dollar bills and then let's try to put it here on the first pocket 
and I think this is the maximum that can fit since it's already like stretching at the side and I'm, and I can barely close it so let's see if uh, how many cards will fit in here as well so let's remove the cards put it in here so let's say we'll put like two on each slot because this one has three slots one two three and then it has another slot in here so three outside and then one inside so one two three four five six so let's say we'll put two cards on each slot so two cards on each slot and then here's two more here two more so two cards two cards and then two cards in here and then let's say we're gonna put the bills here in the middle so I have three three dollar bills and we'll put it in here so I think that's it so you can still put I don't know if we can still put one more but this is already stretched so I suggest we'll just stop from from two cards on each slots and then three dollar bills inside so this is really like if you carry six cards or three cards the most with your credit cards this will do but if you want nine cards or nine cards and then your bills you can bring this but i don't think if you carry your credit card the one that you're using all the time i i don't suggest putting it in here together with the rest of the cards as you might put it on like in the middle or at the back unless you are really mindful to put it always in front or at the back of it as you know it takes a while for you to really like shuffle all your cards whenever you're looking for it like taking it all and shuffling it or if it's in here like it's so close together if it's nine cards like it's like really takes a while for you to really look if you'll not take it out as so so ease of organization this is better for ease of organization but if you want to carry a lot of cards and then just store it in your wallet this is best whenever i carry this i only put three cards so two here and one here like my driver's license here in front and then two of my credit cards or one debit card and one credit card here at the back i don't usually bring cash but if i do i can also fit cash in here at the back so this one looks better i think since it has like a flap which looks more like a wallet but ease of use and organization this is better in my opinion so right now i'm using this as i really like the the ease of use of this card holder than this one but if i'm using this i felt like I'm enjoying opening it and closing it as it's more like a wallet so I hope you'll be able to see the difference so this is $50 more than this one it's like if you're gonna take a look at it you'll get more from your money of this one as this has more leather than this kind of card holder so it's nice to have one of each so maybe in the future i would love to add another color but for now i'm happy with this two basic black colors with gold hardware i hope to see you again next time and may all of you have a wonderful day and please like and subscribe bye